Well, it's the end of the day, almost six o'clock, just done tonight's upload. Um, bad news is, still got a big pile of green waste to get rid of. The good news though, Is that it is only half what was there this morning probably just a bit more than half actually that pile extended right up over there so I've now swapped a load of that for a smaller load of, of that so and that is the last load for tonight I'll just give that a couple more minutes and I'll show you what else I've been doing well, you already know, because I told you what I was doing, but I didn't film everything because, well, I just wanted to get on with it. So, uh, yeah, I did that. But just in case you forgot, the reason I took that pile of dirt out of there and replaced it with a levelish but drained, slopey bit of stone is, um, I think there's another shipping container coming here. Don't know for sure, but I think there is. And even if there wasn't, it was dead space. We'd piled all the dirt up in here that was left over from digging all the drains from that corner of the barn and that corner of the barn and from over there. There's drains all underneath the yards now. Uh, a lot of them culminate into this cover. So this still has to be finished. So I've actually got to get in here and actually re-dig that out in there and then concrete it and then set that cover properly in concrete with like a pad so any water that comes down through the yard here we can we can get rid of it um, I'm not going to set that in a lot of concrete because and only because there is a chance that sometime in the future that barn might might become our midden our muck um, store and in which case there will be some runoff off there and I don't want that going down there so we'll have to when we do this we'll have to bear in mind that maybe sometime in the future I'll have to put a steel cap over the top of that and actually seal it in there so not for the time being for now no muck going in there I use it as a machinery shed um, but if rules and everything changes and make, it forces me to then I might have to put muck in there one day so so yeah it's um it was a fairly simple job i did it with the doosan i did it with the dumper and the skid steer um nothing by hands no hard work no graft no sweat or anything like that um took me a few hours and i basically did a uh, half an hour on that and then half an hour down here then on half an hour on that basically just filled the day up because once i filled that up it just needs to it just needs to chop it up for half an hour so this gave me something to do in that half an hour of well, it's better than twiddling me thumbs, isn't it? So, right, we're going to tip that out. Um, I'm not going to put the machine away. It's going to be dry tonight, dry again tomorrow. So the idea is, still got half a tank of fuel. That tractor has run all day driving that machine, and it didn't have a full tank when we started. And I think it's literally just dropped below half a tank now. So, yeah, can't fault that. Not sure if one of those modern tractors I was looking at would have done the same with the same economy. I have my doubts. I mean, the tractor is too small to pull that thing, but it's big enough to drive it. Yeah, that ain't bad going. So when I started this this morning, the tractor was just over, just over three quarters of a tank full. And I've done four or five loads on here. I mean, we haven't been going at full chat. We've not been going doing a full 540. We've been doing what? 450 between 450 and 500 rpm which is enough so um yeah pretty good on fuel
doing itself again. It does that a bit sometimes. We're done. So I'm not doing any more tonight. It is quarter past six. And although I've got enough light, I could do another load tonight. My neighbours are only, I don't know, 100 metres over there. And they'd probably appreciate a peaceful evening. So, um, yeah, and I've had enough anyway. So you can only have so much of standing up on that platform, playing with levers and driving diggers and dumpers and yeah I had a good day actually. Yeah. Right, you can stay out there. Um, I'll probably fuel the tractor up in the morning. Um, that'll probably be the kindest thing to do anyway is if I leave the machine out here tomorrow morning and then just gently go and fill him up with fuel and stuff like that. That means that by the time I come back and put this back on, engine will be warmed up and you'll be ready for some work. So um, there's enough fuel in there, I could probably go another load, but you know, I might as well top it up. But I'll do that in the morning. We've had enough today, so I've left enough space right here that if I need to get right in there or anybody else needs to get right in there, there's plenty of room. Uh, only thing left to do for tonight is Give the cattle a bale, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, no more of the monkey bales, the four-year-olds. They're all gone. I'm glad to see that gone. That is another... Once this is gone, which I'm hoping I'll break the back of that tomorrow, once that's gone, I think we're going to set into here, get rid of this sand, move the muck spreader, get rid of that set of swings. Uh, what I really ought to do with that, that was from my kids from years ago, is get this cutter out or spanners, take it apart. Um, I'm not going to scrap it because there's nothing wrong with the steel. I might find some use for that. Uh, the swings, they are, they are past it. Well past it. But um, yeah, I have used these before because these are actually pretty good to put into a tire. So if you get an old set of swings, as long as the chains are okay, um, use a, um, clamp like that and you can always stick it up in a tree just put a tire on so we've done a few of those yeah okay clear all this area up nice and tidy probably have those couple of ash trees down probably almost certainly have that ash tree down because he's had it and yeah we we're getting there so i gotta do that manhole cover sorry the drain cover down there that's gonna be a bit of concrete to mix maybe we'll get that done this week maybe but I also have a lot of tree work quotes I have to catch up with so if I spend tomorrow doing that then it's going to be Friday's going to be in the van looking at trees so got to be done because it's what pays the wages not the easiest job in the world to do on your own at least it's only a 12 foot gate Done. Just to make sure they can't lift it off. Oh, I don't reckon that'd be too hard to dig that out of there. Basically, I'm going to dig a shovel width all the way around the plastic cover, down to basically the bottom of the plastic cover. Um, build it up, sit that on top, put it on there with a the spirit level. Um, I'll probably have it, well I'll actually have that dead level, I expect, and then I'll have a little bit of a lip round behind, basically so I can catch anything coming down there, anything coming down there, and anything coming down there. It's all going to go down there, 
before it gets to the yard and before it gets to the field. That's the plan. Well, it already does it. It's, it already does that. I just got to make it neat and so I could run over it. So I reckon my um, cattle trailer go in there a treat actually. So I can literally drive down around here and up there and reverse straight back in there. Or I can drive down there and up there and reverse straight back in there. It's out of sight, it's out of mind. The security can see it. Um, yeah, that'll work. All right, you lot, you know the score. Go on, out you go. Out you go. Go on, out you go. I'm going to give you some fresh tea. Go on. That way. Go on. Out. Go on. Out you go. And you. Go on. Out. 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 Go on. Go on. Out you go. Go on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do you know what? Go on, that's it, out you go. Don't all rush, you know, take your time. I don't think they're that hungry. So, right, to the birds and I am done.